Welcome. <laughs> He's got caught on my shirt. Welcome back. Welcome back to our podcast episode two. Woohoo! Very exciting. So, what's going on? One? Um, not much. It's just been like a busy week. It's Valentine's. I'm so excited. Um, we record these on Monday, so nothing has happened this week yet but happy friday to you guys you made it through the week congratulations um do you have any plans for valentine's kaylee yes so reintroducing ourselves by the way i'm kaylee oh right i'm megan (laughs) and we've been internet friends forever and we just decided to make a podcast together so here we are this is our second episode so stay tuned for retired fangirls that's what our podcast is called um but Valentine's Day, yes, I've been dating my boyfriend for a million years now. Just kidding. It's about to be five in May, which is insane. Um, I don't like that. I feel like COVID doesn't exist. Like that like didn't, that took off like three years of my life. That did not count. But yeah, he actually is going to a funeral <laughs> on Valentine's Day. <laughs> but then we're going to get lunch and watch a movie after. Um, and then we kind of, we watched Hamilton last night. Hold up. We watched Hamilton last night, so that was kind of another gift to us, gift to ourselves. But yeah, what about you? You have any? Oh, and I celebrated Galentine's over the weekend, so that was a lot of fun. <laughs> I did a lot of Galentine's over the weekend. Um, I am not doing anything on Valentine's, but I, I mean know. Tuesday. Yeah, I have a lunch with my coworkers. We're going out to get um, the restaurant is called Parm. Um. Okay by the same owner as Carbone and it's the same chef mm-hmm. that's gonna be good it's really good yeah well very very exciting my brother visited last week so that's what y'all missed on Glee <laughs> I love that for you yeah I don't know if I told you he like got into a foreign exchange program and then my mom like surprised us with like a trip for him to come up by himself so he just hung out with us cute love that did he have a good time yeah <laughs> good <laughs> good (laughs) all right first thing on our agenda super bowl i did not watch the super bowl you didn't watch it at all i never watched them i don't i'm a girl i don't know football girls can know football (laughs) football fandom you're a girl yeah i I guess i was watching (laughs) hamilton at the time so i did not see anything true that is more important i'd say than two cities that you do not live in exactly What about you? You seem like, you know. Um, well, I do know a lot about football, but that's more because I was a cheerleader for a really long time. True. Um, but I watched the first half, um, and then watched Rihanna's halftime show, and then we left. Oh. Yeah. That's all that we really cared about. So that's okay. kind of who were you rooting for? Um, I think I was rooting for the Eagles because I just wanted to know what Philly would do if they won the Super Bowl after they just lost the World Series, but I guess we'll never know. Okay. Good to know. <laughs> I don't know anything. That... <laughs> My sister's best she... friend is in town and she's from Kansas City. Kansas but City, the... Missouri. Kansas City, Kansas. Missouri. Okay. Yes. <laughs> I just <laughs> learned the difference between the two. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Midwest things Mm -hmm. yeah I was not rooting for anyone but I did try to predict with my friends how Rihanna was gonna open up her intro so my this was my prediction it was wrong but I really thought it was gonna be oh na na crowds cheering and then she's like what's my name and everyone's like Rihanna (laughs) but she did bet bitch better have my money (laughs) I like that. I heard a lot of people saying that it would be bitch better have my money because I think the first line is like don't act like you forgot pay me what you okay, owe. Okay yeah. Mm. I thought she was gonna do where have you been. Mm. She's been gone for years. Is the she way that there were so many options. <laughs> Literally every song she has is a bob. But do you think she's pregnant again? It's confirmed. It is confirmed? Confirmed Rihanna's pregnant guys. From her? from her team okay yes a okay. rihanna representative i think 
I thought that she had her baby in December. So I was like, wow, people are being really rude about her postpartum body. Oh, I know. She had the baby in May. (laughs) Bro, I feel like celebrities are like either always pregnant or like, I don't know. They're constantly having children. But then like, where do they come from? Where do they go? Yeah, like I've never seen their children after. They're like pregnant. Like, I don't know what Rihanna's child looked like. Um, I saw one picture when we were trying to figure out when she had her baby. <laughs> okay, when did she have her baby? Was it May? Yeah, May of 2022. But all of the articles are from December. So I thought she announced her baby in May and then had it in December, but she had it in May. Damn. You know, so she could be pregnant again. And she is pregnant again, I guess. I guess so. Damn. Good for her. Blake Lively and Re- Ryan Reynolds had their fourth child. What did they name it? I thought it was gonna be what um Taylor Swift says in that one song, Sally May or whatever the fuck. Oh, the Daisy. Daisy, Daisy May. Well, I get her, their kids are. Um, a lot of the songs, like I think they have a Betty and Inez and a James, right? Yeah. Okay. So that's why everyone was theorizing that it's Maybe dating. Augustine. Right? Maybe she has an August. She completed the triangle. I love that. But yeah, I did not watch Rihanna's full show because it wasn't anywhere. I couldn't find it. Really? So I'll have to wait. It's not on YouTube yet? No, they were like weird, like two second clips that kept cutting. So I didn't see the full thing yet. Oh. What was it? Oh, so weird. It was good. Okay. Um, I don't think that she was singing. I think she was lip syncing the whole time, but it was fun. Yeah. A lot of people are saying it's like devil worship. And I think they say that about every single halftime show. So it made me laugh a lot. She's just in red. Literally, they the do that about like fucking Billie life. Eilish and, and everyone. Yeah. The That's only one that has a compelling case was um, Nicki Minaj did Roman Holiday at the Grammys. Mm. Um, And there was a lot of like, catholic symbolism and then like subverting the catholic symbolism so that we can see they have a real argument i don't think she should have been banned from performing at the grammys for that but he was i'm learning so much (laughs) (laughs) i went down the rabbit hole of like top 10 cringiest super bowl performances and they like weren't even that bad you see the black one yeah when when fergie starts singing with slash it's not good yeah and then there was like a, a few disney ones like just weird disney marketing ones and then i don't remember what the top one was they put Katy perry's left shark as one of the cringiest Katy Perry super bowl performance was so fun i know i love Katy perry i'm to give her her flowers like she's an icon like she ruled the world in 2010s well and she doesn't take herself too seriously like a lot of the other people do we need her we do yeah and then i went to watch the best ones and somehow they put it was like the top 20 best super bowl performances Mm -hmm. and they put the beyonce coldplay bruno mars one as 13 i was like how is it that low uh i think coldplay's bringing him down he was the main act (laughs) yeah well (laughs) when you're upstage you're having Beyonce come on as a side act. It's a mistake. Yeah. Was the R&B one? I forgot who the main headliner was, but the one where they brought out like Eminem and Jay-Z and Nicki. That was last year, I think. Was it last year? I want to say, yeah. Because I remember seeing like Dr. Dre. Yeah. Eminem. And oh no, not last year. I think last year was The weekend, right? That feels familiar. I did not watch the Super Bowl last year or the year before. Sam, I don't watch. I only had to watch in like 2019 because I was taking advertising classes and they were like, go study the ads. I just want, I read the trades the next day and they tell me what the ads were good um, or what were good. There's a lot of controversy about, um, there was an ad for Dexcom, which is like uh, for diabetes. It's a diabetes monitor. And they had um, Nick Jonas be their spokesperson. Okay. There are a lot of people who are pissed about it, which like, honestly rightfully so why is a medicine company spending seven million dollars for a 30 second spot when they could be lowering their prices oh true Mm -hmm. true yeah so there's controversy about that one but that's the only ad i've seen people buzzing about and then people were really weird about the m&m 
situation. What happened? Um, well, I'm not that, caught up. I don't know what's happening. So not Eminem the rapper. Eminem like the king. Oh, oh um, they like took away how they talk. They're talking or something. Yeah. So they said. So there was like a whole lead up to their Super Bowl. It was kind of reminiscent of, um, in 2021. Mr. Peanut died before the Super Bowl and then their Super Bowl ad was him resurrecting. So it's like a similar, like they had a plot going on. Okay. Um, so they retired the candy spokespeople and then they started turning up like the green m M&M showed up in an ad for Zappos being like their new head person, which is hilarious because there was such a controversy about them changing her shoes from heels to sneakers. Hello? And- yeah, and then the yellow Eminem showed up in an ad for Snickers with just like an S taped over his M on his stomach. Um, the orange Eminem was in like an ad for Headspace. You could hear him in like ads yeah. on Spotify. Um, so there's like they were in all these places because they retired them. And then for they said that Maya Rudolph was going to be their new spokesperson, yeah. and their Super Bowl ad was like her talking about my and Yaz is what they renamed it as. And then they were chocolate covered clams and everyone hated it. And then there's a hard cut in the ad to a press conference with the spokes candies. And they're like, we're so sorry about that. That was really ridiculous. Like we were made to be spokes candies. Like we're never going to be retired again. Oh yeah. Which was so funny. I thought it was like an interesting use of the medium, but um Yeah, I think it was a bit of a dig at Fox News for being so weird about it, but who knows? Maybe Fox News is in on it. Can you explain? I don't understand the controversy of the Eminem spokespeople thing. So it's not a real controversy. Part of it is they like did a rebrand and they were like being feminist and they took the green Eminem used to have, I think, either heels or go go boots. And they and put her in sneakers and people were like make the green m&m sexy again like that was the yes, campaign yes. and then Tucker Carlson got on live tv and was like why isn't the green m&m sexy and was like on a tirade about it and we were like you're being weird about this um and then I think it was after that I think it was six months a year later or something when like this situation started yeah. happening um and Tucker Carlson got on air and like started talking about the M&Ms again. And then like this whole thing started rolling out. So maybe Fox News is in on it. Maybe it's just a really good advertising team at M&Ms. Conspiracy. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Yeah, I never understood that. <laughs> like, why are people so mad about M&Ms? <laughs> I don't well, because they took away her go-go boots. Make the green oh. m M&M sexy. Not the sexy green m M&M. and M. <laughs> my girl love her <laughs> um she's also supposed to be in a relationship with the brown m M&M, who is a okay. woman oh mm-hmm. t okay i'm learning so much lore about the m ms i didn't know there was so much lore to know <laughs> a lot going on mm. yeah okay interesting i saw some of the flash movie stuff. with ezra miller ezra miller is the flash don't know why um and then there i saw like ben affleck he's back as batman okay i don't know anything that's going on in dc ben movies affleck is, was batman yes he was batman was he the one in the dark knight no that i have never seen a batman movie okay the dark knight trilogy very good that's christopher nolan who directed it and um it's christian bale who plays what about batman? emo batman what about rob pattinson batman he that's just one movie right now and that came out last year but they're gonna <laughs> have a second one this year okay yeah so that's another batman and then like an og one of the like older batmans is michael keaton and apparently he's back in the flash movie with <laughs> ben affleck batman so i don't know what's going on don't come for me dc people i just don't know what's going on in the movies right now wasn't there a big thing about how they kicked out their Superman and Wonder Woman? Yeah. What's going on? What are I they don't doing? Know. Because they didn't have as Miller, as Miller was wreaking havoc in yes. Hawaii. I just there's so many news articles that came out and they were like they kidnapped someone. What? I know. 
I know it was a lot <laughs> I don't know what's going on there's also a slash tv show with with Grant Gustin it's a different thing is he Grant does he look a little bit like Andrew Garfield yeah poofy I mean, I brown seen, hair I think I've seen parts of that show that show has been going on for fucking ever didn't end it's ending soon I think like the last season coming out wow they really Riverdale it yeah yeah I, I thought it was when we were in high school <laughs> No, it was out like forever. Ooh. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, so people were like, apparently it looked good, I think, but I don't know where we stand on that. I don't know what's going on. I'm not a big DC gal. I like superhero movies that don't take themselves seriously, which is why I watch Spider Man. Yeah. As you said. I love DC like growing up, like the animated TV shows, but the movies, I don't know what's going on what's going on over there I do really like margot robbie and her as harley quinn was very entertaining oh yeah birds of prey and the oh. suicide squad i haven't seen suicide squad original me neither i, I heard it was any of them i don't like jared leto mm, he's in it oh is he the joker he's the joker yeah no. he's not like but now we're gonna have a new joker in the new Batman movie with Robert Pattinson. Who is the villain in the other one? The Riddler? The Yeah, the Riddler played ball by Paul Dano in the first Batman movie with Robert Pattinson. The Riddler and the Joker are not the same person? No. <laughs> is it the <laughs> There's They're two different villains. They sound like they're the same kind of thing. Doesn't one say me this Batman and isn't that the Joker? Yes. The Joker is like the clown guy. He Heath Ledger. Yes. Walking Fear. Yes. Yes. It's a lot. And then there's the Riddler. I what? think Jim Carrey played him before, I wanna say. Did the Riddler die? Is that why we're doing the Joker? Spoiler alert. He's like in prison now. But then we heard the Joker like do a little laugh at the end of the movie. Who's playing? I the Joker's being played by a famous person. It's Barry mm. Eternals. He's in Eternals. He's Druig. Mm -hmm. And he was in that Oscar nominated movie, Banshees. You're the one that watches the Oscar movies, and I'm the one that giggles when you tell me about them. Yes. Giggles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So that's the DC universe right now recap. <laughs> Being fun. Thanks for joining. <laughs> yeah, thanks for like listening to our non-educational DC rant. I think this was very educational. I feel enlightened. Okay, good. I'm not the one to ask about what's going on in that universe. They also had the Indiana Jones trailer. Harrison Ford. What does he just like not want to give it? Who is next in line for Indiana Jones? Oh, he's like, no, I'm Indiana Jones forever. I know, but wasn't there someone who wanted to play it? And Harrison Ford was like, absolutely not. Oh, I forgot. It was a name I knew. Theory. Chris Pratt? Why is it always Chris Pratt? I don't know, but I agree with Harrison Ford. Oh, if it's Chris Pratt. Yeah, here's a headline. It says, Chris Pratt won't play Indiana Jones because of Harrison dot dot dot. <laughs> yeah. He's a man of the people. Yeah. Harrison Ford loves Indiana Jones. He hates Star Wars. He wants nothing to do with it. He died, so it doesn't matter now. Yeah. Spoiler I, work for a movie that's, what, eight years old? Oh my god, that's crazy. <laughs> R.I.P. But yeah, he never shows up to any Star Wars conventions or anything. He doesn't talk about it. He loves his Indiana Jones, though, so welcome back, Harrison Ford. Mm -hmm. What's your ranking of the Hollywood curses? What are the Hollywood curses? Chris Pratt, Chris Pine, Chris Hemsworth. Oh, Chris's. Okay, I thought you said curses. We were just talking about this at our Galentine's. Who do you love more? <laughs> um, I have put a lot of time and thought into my ranking. It is okay. Chris Pine, who's my first love. Princess Diaries 2, Royal Engagement, those right. baby Yes. Um, also, he's just so, like, weird. Like, he has a flip phone, and he, like, wears those robes. I love him. Yeah, I love him. Okay. So, Chris Pine. Yeah. And then I think I'll go Chris Evans, because he just seems, like, fun and normal. 
hot. Yeah. I'll go Chris Hemsworth next, but I know the least about him. And yeah. then Chris Pratt, who was like a solid two for a really long time. And then he uh, he got so weird. Yeah, yeah, I think I'm gonna have to agree with your list because Chris Pine, he's been like a staple for us girlies for so long. Right. He's unproblematic and he's just beautiful. And, and, so then, and aged yeah. like Chris Evans, charming, sexy. He has brown hair. Oh. I didn't know that his hair wasn't naturally blonde. It's always been like dirty blonde in my head. Yeah, that's a wig. Oh, Captain a wig America. for Captain America. Yeah, it's a it's oh, like yeah, a yeah yeah yeah. Okay. Is, I was like, what? It all confuses so. me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when it's that short, it almost doesn't matter. Like, I don't even know. <laughs> um, Chris Hemsworth, meh, I don't care. He's fine. Thor's a fine character. Thor's cool. I like him. He's funny. Who else have the Hemsworths done? Because Liam was Gale, the yeah. world. We hate Gale. Never on Team Gale. No. You know anyone who was? I hope not. I was a PETA girl. PETA for life. Love I you, love Peter Hutchison. Love you, PETA Malark. Josh Hutcherson specifically. Ugh, him in every movie he's ever been in. He's been like my child. He was like my childhood crush for so long. You watched Little Manhattan? I think so. That's when he's like in Manhattan yeah. and he like girl named Rosemary Telesco. Ugh, he's a cutie. That's my guy. Yeah. But Liam Hemsworth, fuck you for breaking Miley Cyrus's heart. I think he's like a bad person on and off the screen. I can see it. He just seems icky. And he's not even that cute. Yeah. So what? Sorry. Erect, respectfully. Yeah. Sorry, Chris Hemsworth. You're our third on our list, but you cool. I vibe with you. I just don't know much about you, if I'm going to be honest. Oh, there is going to be a Mario movie coming out with Chris Pratt. Yeah, what the hell? <laughs> I don't want to listen to Mario talk like this. If he's like, it's me, Mario. I know. I don't want a normal accent. I want an Italian Mario. I, I want, want an Italian man. man. A wahoo. Yeah, uh, give it to us. And he's like, I trained for so long. In what? Girl, what are you what are you training for? Whatever. But yeah, who else is in that one? I forgot. It's like stacked. All of them are stacked, but like, I don't think that traditional actors are always the best voice actors. Exactly. Like hire actual voice actors. You know why? Like, do you know what the change was in animation? What? Um, It was Aladdin. When mm -hmm. they hired Robin Williams, yes. it changed the course of animation and they started just getting stacked. And then the next movie to really like show how stacking a cast could do it is Shrek. Yeah. The Shrek lore is so interesting. How they had you record the movie twice? Ah, there's just like so much going on there. Shrek. I love Shrek. I don't care who knows it. Shrek is in my top five movies of all time. It is on my Desert Island list. I oh, love God. it. Okay, name your top five right now. Um... So this is the disclaimer. I like to watch movies that are fun. I don't care about the art of them. It is in no particular order. There's just five that stand out among the rest. Legally Blonde. Okay, yes, yes. Shrek. Um, Midsummer. So good. Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. So good. And I think I have to say Shrek too. <laughs> She's like, Shrek 1, Shrek 2, Shrek 3. Shrek 3? No, Shrek 3 can die. It can burn. It doesn't exist. Wait, did you watch Puss in Boots? No, I haven't yet. I need to go. Because I also, like, it looks like they return to animation not being super realistic, so I want to see it just be cute. It is very, very good. Okay. Best movie, best sequel, better than Avatar. And it, like, touches on, like, death and panic attacks, and it's like, 
that shit hurt it mm-hmm. and then spoiler alert i mean do you want me to tell you there is a little hint of a new shrek movie at the end well they've been talking about shrek 5 for years like literal years yeah so i think it's happening happening that's so exciting i will be seeing midnight release um <laughs> We'll be petitioning to walk the green carpet in that swamp, you know? I used to have Shrek and Shark Tale um, on a GBA cartridge for my Nintendo DS. Oh my gosh. Um, So I would watch Shrek every day before I went to bed. I did that on the, like, big iPods, like the first iPod that had a screen. And I had Grease, which I watched religiously, and Happy Feet. (laughs) I don't know why it was those two movies I also watched Chicago a lot when you were little yeah wow I know (laughs) great content not for little kids no but I love that musical (laughs) so what else are you currently watching slash reading slash listening to now um I'm watching The Last of Us uh uh, did you watch the episode I cried like a little baby Okay, so I have, I don't know what's, I don't like spoilers and I don't like knowing what I'm about to watch. So I haven't watched. Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. alert. I was literally like, if anything happens to these men, boys, I will cry. And then things happened. I don't know why I expect a happy ending in a fucking Last of Us show about zombies. I thought that we would get one more episode, but like, are you yourself when you become a monster that broke me that shit was painful and then the switch in joel and ellie like it was a direct parallel to when Tess died but yeah. it was joel sitting and looking at the grave and ellie being like let's get out of here yeah it's wild and i was like they're Whoa. so similar joel and ellie oh that shit was painful yeah so i have not watched the game like I don't know what's gonna happen I'm just here for the ride so don't get mad at me gamers like I see that the game from the show so yeah Bill and Frank was not how it was in the game checkmate gamer sorry gamers maybe I'll play it eventually or watch it I will not play it but I'll watch the show <laughs> yeah I'm here for it I was gonna say speaking of games Hogwarts Legacy is out thoughts so for me personally, I don't have like that much nostalgia built up around Harry Potter because Percy Jackson filled yeah. my whole <laughs> um, I had no room for anything else for a really long time. Um, So I don't feel very conflicted about like people asking not to buy the game to not support JK or like saying that there's so much like anti-Semitic symbolism in the game. I am totally fine with being like, okay, I just won't play it. Also, I'm not really a gamer. So all of that leads into me being like, no, but like some of the stuff they put in that game is wild. What? What? I don't know anything that's going on because I don't support her. Yeah. So I don't I've, know. I've seen a lot of people talking about like what's going on in the game as to why you shouldn't buy it. So they have like the plot of the game is you're putting down a goblin rebellion. Um, and goblins were like historically an anti Semitic. Yeah like depiction or whatever um but there's a rebellion that happened in I think 1612 that they referenced throughout the game um that happened in Germany or Hungary or something like that which is a direct parallel to um a Jewish rebellion that happened in 1612 in the same country in our real world okay. um, that led to a pogrom I'm not sure what that word means. I have not Googled it, but it sounds not good. I did not know that was the premise of the game. I thought that we were just like hanging out in Hogwarts. <laughs> so that's like the premise. And then there's there's like other things that people talked about that I don't remember. But the big one that stuck with me is they have a goblin artifact that's okay. from that rebellion. Um, and it looks like a lot like um, a Jewish like the horn I think it's called a shofar um mm-hmm. that they play and it's just like, <laughs> it's like Girl. but it was also like 
they say that they separated from JK to like do the development and like she's definitely getting royalties because it's her oh. IP but they say that she wasn't involved in the development of the game um and there's a trans like character yeah. in the game um and then but the development company is in Utah and it's a lot of Mormons who are like very weird about Jewish people and then one of the lead designers um is like a bigot so well it's a like a like maybe I shouldn't buy it but like to each their own well I did not know all of that I'm like how is it getting worse and worse (laughs) (laughs) no uh okay well y'all have fun playing that if you play it I'm not saying that you're evil I just I didn't know that you have to be like that though podcast up today was going to be Megan tells you about all the lore that's happening <laughs> I'm learning a lot and thank you for this I just want to say thank you guys for the warm reception last time um so excited for you guys to come chat with us if you're listening on Spotify there is a Q&A feature somehow if you scroll down on the episode page you can send us things that you want us to talk about any questions you might have for us not sure if our nine listeners on spotify want to utilize that feature but like it is (laughs) yeah it is there if you're listening um through that medium if you're on youtube obviously we read the comments and reply so we'll be interacting on there um yeah but you can find us wherever you get your podcasts um I will figure out how to put us on like SoundCloud and all of that if you want to listen on your preferred podcast distribution site. True. Our Instagram, our TikTok, our YouTube is here. We all have different names for it. Don't mind the inconsistency. Um, And then we're going to try to post every other Friday. So thanks for tuning in. And I think it'll be Fridays at 4.30 p.m. Eastern, 1.30 Pacific. I think it's three hours. Um. So if you guys want to join us on your lunch break, on your commute home, any of that, we'll be here. Thank you very much. Peace out. Bye.